last week. This is a rear div brake for this car. If you guys watched the last video, I didn't even pay attention to that. You guys said it in the comments. The, the wheels were hopping in the back end. So we ordered this dip race from eBay. Not cheap, this thing was 700 bucks. And it's supposed to help us with that. Where you open this phone? Right over here. I also have another couple parts for the Demo 170 charger. That I'm gonna show you here in a second. But this comes in pieces like that. That's the place that makes it made in the USA. So that part goes on the dip, and then there should be a brace. Which is, I believe this thing over here. Oh, this is the hardware part. That's hardware. They have this little gasket piece. That's how it looks. So all it does is it helps with your dip not bouncing and it connects it to the cradle, gives it some better support. I was supposed to do this a while back, but I never knew that we need it so soon. So this part goes to, where's the picture? So it looks something like that. That goes like that. And then a big bolt for the div goes right through the middle, through there. So we're gonna install this, and that's gonna help us with that. And then for this car, oh, let me show you the seat covers that we got. These seat covers were $2,000. Because right now we have scat pack seats. So I bought these OEM from the dealer, DB170. And then what we're gonna do, yeah, this car's locked up. Let me grab the key for this. All right, come see this. So right now in here, I got scat pack seats, but they're the same material. See that? They got the Alcantara with the leather on the side, but it has a scat pack badge on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that skin. Lock this one up. We're gonna take that skin and we're gonna replace it with this one. So it's gonna look like, obviously, a Demon 170 interior. Only difference is over here, because the Challengers have that lever to move the seat forward. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna open up the stitching and then just take the face of this and keep that with the charger one. But that's for another video. We have some more stuff right there. I'll show you here in a second. So that's that. I do have both sides. These things are a thousand dollars a piece. Driver and passenger. So once we get the rest of the parts for the charger, I'll show you guys the actual reveal of this car. We got some carbon fiber parts. That's the shifter bezel. And this is the dash part. Because right now I got those uh those cheap silver ones. Uh, I'm gonna change out the bulbs for the headlights. We're gonna make them LEDs. Right now they're the yellow bulbs. Halogens. So I'm still waiting on clock spring, a couple parts for this car. But now we're gonna take this car to the shop. We're gonna uh, install this dip brace, and then we're gonna be testing 0 to 60 in the Tricon 300.
call it a diff raise. We're gonna do some testing. I'll blow my eardrums next time. <laughs> Are you ready? You know, you know that fell off. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys already seen this part, but this should be the hardware kit. Let's open it. Where's this? This is the actual base, the bracket. It's pretty easy install. Where's it going? You even have a hole for the fill plug in case you got to service the rear diff. But we'll lift it up, put on the hoist, and then um, get this installed real quick. Okay, they came with it. Got these uh, ARP balls, got some Loctite. These over here will slide into the rear cradle through there, and then we'll thread the bolts onto these holes. So one, two, three, four, five, all these will come off. And then this bracket will sit in there, just like that. And then we'll use the bolts that they gave us. And then that one big bolt will connect this one this big screw. So we'll start taking it off. Should be fairly simple. That's one. That's two. And the other ones are a different size. This one over here was longer. So we gotta make sure you remember that. And this was a shorter one. to 90 foot pounds. Good. 
This helped a lot because this bolt was having a hard time lining up with this brace. But if you give it some, uh, some, you know, some support, it'll tell you a lot of them. So that's it. Uh, since we're down here, let me show you guys the exhaust system. A lot of people were asking about that. This is actually a charger exhaust. This is off a of scat pack. We well did the um, track lock tips on here. We still got mufflers and resonators or other way around. Uh, but if you look up here, see all this rubbing. So we're gonna have to eventually redo this, even here. This isn't rubbing as you're going down the road. This is like going up a driveway or something steep. But other than that, it's uh, just doing the job for now. Imagine how loud it is and we still got both of those on. I don't know if one day I'm gonna cut these off just to see what the difference is gonna be. But four inch drive shaft, one piece aluminum. That's a bad motherfucker. So we didn't change the axle shaft today, but here's a new one from the dealer. The one that I had the boot ripped up, so all the grease slinged out of it. So the next time, we should be fine for now to do a couple pulls, but I do have the new one, as you'll see, straight from the dealer. There's like a patch, then a skip, then patch. That's because the wheels are hopping. So the whole point of doing that brace is to fix that. And we're about to find out for work. Base, skip, base, skip, and then straight line. So that, that pass, 2.6 seconds, zero to 60. It says my best is 1.2, I don't know how true that is, but now I'm gonna set up for real. Um, I'm gonna do a second gear, just like that, and it should look a lot better.
All right, so we beat the 2.7. It's going 2.6, but it's still spinning out pretty bad. Um, I did try a second gear, like I showed you guys earlier. I tried doing that, and it actually felt pretty slower. So we're gonna do it in just a regular drive. Um, traction's not disabled all the way, just a regular track mode, and let's see what it does. It's spinning, bro. It's spinning real bad. We need some better tires. All right, we're gonna try one more thing. So before, I was brake torquing it, doing this, to give it like a little launch. But now I'm just gonna hold the brake and then give it full throttle right off the bat. So back up like we're here. So now right over here, we got best 1.2. I don't know how that happened, but our really best is 2.7. Or it was 2.6, it just changed right now. All right, ready? Go. Terrible. So it's better when you brake torque it. Indeed. All right, that was 3.3, let it focus. So now we're gonna do like a 1500. Ready? So these tires over here are the Nitto. I have 295s in the front, 3520s. Where are they? The triple fives, NT triple five G2s. And they're terrible. They don't even get hot. And we've been hitting it for a minute now. So I'm gonna check the, the oil separator, the catch can. Actually, I actually have not emptied this out since we, uh, since we installed it. Look at all that. Where's that oil go? So instead of it going back into your crankcase, it collects it in here. Look how dirty that is. All right, let's get a, get a little sample. Come on, I need to put it on here. This came in, so we're gonna do a POV drive probably tonight, couple of them next week. Oh, look at this. That's filthy. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the POV drive, the Charger 170, and make sure I have a contact job for you. Adios.